Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. My name is Ali, and today we are going to be recreating the Olympics in The Sims 4. Obviously the 2024 Olympics are happening right now in Paris and as much fun as they are to watch, I wanted to do something a little different. So I decided to bring together eight of the most iconic townies from The Sims 4, each all hailing from their own unique world. And we're gonna put them against each other and see which townie and what world deserves to win gold at the 2024 Sim Olympics. Obviously because a lot of the Olympic sports do not translate very well into The Sims 4, it is going to be a little different than your normal Olympics as instead of having, you know, Know, different people competing in different events everyone is going to be completing in the same events based on actual olympic events and the winner of all of those will win gold for their world without further ado let the games begin all right these are our olympians uh they're all decked out in their town's colors at least you know what i assigned to be their town's colors and over here we have the beautiful olympic villa and by that i mean um literally the ugliest not even house the ugliest building ever uh but it's gonna do its job basically how this is gonna work is that uh, all eight of these guys, they'll compete in a competition every day at noon. And then once that competition is over, they have the rest of the day to spend as they like. Now, if they choose to be smart, they can sleep in these nice beds. They can eat nice food. They can play games, get their, get their stuff up, or they can just do dumb shit. I don't care. It's their, you know, they're the Olympians. They know better than me. So I'm not going to control them and we'll just see what shenanigans they get into. Now let's go over and actually meet our Olympians. First off, you know her, you love her. We have the iconic Agnes Crumplebottom representing Henford on Bagley. Uh, you know, she's an elder, but I don't think that necessarily counts her out because not all of these competitions are gonna be physical. So I'm very curious to see how she does. Also, just to clarify, I did wipe all of the skills and careers and all like the perks, like Judith's not a celebrity, etc. Like I wiped anything that would like differentiate them from each other. So besides their traits, it's really anyone's game. Next up, we got Clement Frost, AKA Father Winter. Uh, he, since he is, you know, a little bit of an outlier who doesn't necessarily come from a town. Uh, he's just representing the North Pole, and we love that for them. Um, he, again, an elder, but I, again, don't think it counts him out. I think that he has a lot of joy to give and a lot of energy to bring to this competition, so I'm excited to see how good he does. Next up, we have Don Lothario representing Oasis Springs. I think Don Lothario could, in theory, be a good competitor because of his athletic skill, but again, because he doesn't have that. It, mm, mm, mm. Next up, we have Judith Ward representing Del Sol Valley and just the celebrities in general. Next up, we have Jeffrey Landgrab, and since, obviously, Don Lothario Lothario is already representing Oasis Springs. Jeffrey is representing his original homeland of Sunset Valley from The Sims 3. So I can't even lie, guys. I hate Jeffrey Langrab, but Loki, I want him to win just because the, the Sims 3 inside me wants him to win. But, you know, again, it's anyone's game, really. Next up, we have Vladdy Daddy. Uh, I don't even have vampires, but this man is just so iconic. He could not not be included in this. So I, I pulled him from the gallery. But anyways, this man is representing Forgotten Hollow. And, you know, Vladdy Daddy, you are an interesting, interesting man. And I'm honestly more intrigued to see how this man is going to behave outside of the competitions than within the competitions. I kind of hope he starts drama, but it, it's out of my hands. So we'll see. Next up, lover, hater, we have the undeniably iconic Eliza Pancakes representing Willow Creek. And last but not least, we have the it girl, the Simone Biles, the bad bitch of this whole squad. We have Bella Goth representing, this might be a shocker, Pleasant View. And here's my crazy headcanon. I think that she went missing because she competed in these Olympic games. And whether that means that, you know, she died, unfortunately, during these games because people will be dying. Or she won and then just, like, left her family to become an Olympian. I don't know, but... Either way, she's representing Pleasant View. With that, we've met our competitors and it is time for the games to begin. Basically how this is going to work is I have a set of seven different challenges that these Sims will compete in. And after the end of each one, there will either be a very clear loser or someone will die and that will just decide who loses, right? And each of these games is based off of an Olympic sport. All right, as you can see, we have paired off our eight Olympians who are about to compete in their first event, which is table tennis. This one is going to be a good old fashioned table tennis tournament. Everyone who wins a game is safe and the person who does not win any games is out. I literally didn't have an order for how I paired these people off. I literally just looked at the bottom of the screen and were like, okay, Judith and Agnes are next to each other, so they're going to be competing against each other. But that means that our first set of pairs facing off against each other are Agnes versus Judith, Eliza versus Father Winter, Dawn versus Bella, and Jeffrey versus Vladdy Daddy, which I think are all very, very appropriate, thematically good matchups. All right, let the games begin. I really hope this works. <laughs> I live in fear of The Sims 4 being buggy. Oh, okay. Jude just dismissed one. Father Winter dismissed one. It's really hard to tell, though, until the actual scores come up. So we shall see. It looks like it's all very tense matches. Everyone's actually doing better better than I thought. Better than I would probably do at ping pong. Oh, our first our first round has finished. We have Bella winning against Dawn with the final score of 3-1. to one. Okay, that's pretty decisive. So Bella is officially safe. Uh, I would turn autonomy back on so she can do whatever she wants. But that would turn autonomy on for everyone. So she's just going to hang out until everyone else is done. But that means Dawn is the first in our losers bracket. I think I'll just do the... Oh, oh, that was sweet. Okay. Maybe they can become friends. Hopefully Dawn won't die because then that'll make that really awkward. 
But anyways, uh, I'll just, whoever loses next will face off against Dawn, and then the last two losers will face off against each other. I think that makes the most sense. Oh, another game is done. We have Clement, aka Daddy Winter, beating out Eliza, which means that Eliza and Dawn are our first pair uh, to go in the loser's bracket. I'm going to go ahead and have them get started just so we can keep keep things going. Uh, but Father Winter and Bella are free to just hang out. Oh, our next game is done. We have... Agnes narrowly beating out Judith. Oh, and Jeffrey narrowly beating out Vlad. That means that Judith and Vladdy Daddy will be competing each other in our next round of losers brackets. I've seen Eliza miss two over here, so uh, I'm I'm thinking she's gonna be in our our bottom loser bracket, which would suck. I I low key really like Eliza. I have like. Oh, okay. She just got one point. So that's good. Eliza, I have, I have mixed feelings on. I hate her because of Dan and Phil, but I love her because she's she's just that girl. I don't know. Although I think that was that was that was her third loss, which makes me worried for her. Judith also is like bored. She's the only one who like does not like the decor. Um, so I wonder if that's giving her a disadvantage. But oh, Eliza won. Oh crap. Just kidding. Okay, cool. And Judith won. Cool. All right. Well, the two people I thought were gonna lose won. So that's fun. Uh, that means we have a final rematch. Uh, to see who gets to stay alive. In, in the competition, of course, um, <laughs> uh, between Vladdy Daddy and Don Lothario. Let's go ahead and, and get that started. This one we're gonna we're gonna live commentate. We're gonna watch real times. So we can we can we can really see who's winning. All right, let's go. It's Don versus Vlad. Let's see. Very good rally. Okay. Oh okay. It's Don has one up. Let's see if he can keep the lead. No, he cannot. Okay, cool. They're tied. One one. This is a close match. Close match. Oh, that's two for Don. That's another one for Don. I think this is the last point. I think I think Don is basically one. I don't know. Sometimes they sometimes they might not line up. Cause I really thought Eliza had lost and then she clearly hadn't. So who knows? Really good rally. Oh, all right. That was another point for Don. Okay, Don is our winner. Don, Don. Guess what? You get to stay alive. Vlad, since Vlad is out of the competition, that means that he has to uh, get a punishment. And I think for the first punishment, since he is the first one out, I think he should get to be the longest to live afterwards. So uh, let's 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 uh, introduce him to his punishment. All right, so I have uh, locked Vladdy Daddy into his room of shame, uh, where everyone can just stare and laugh at him, and he can stare out and. You know, at least he has something to do while he slowly dies. I don't know. That I, I feel like that was merciful, probably. Anyways, for everyone else, they get to have autonomy turned back on, and they are free to do whatever they so choose for the next 24 hours. And hopefully, they choose to um not be stupid. But this is The Sims, so all right, be free, my friends. Everyone's like overheating because they're in there every day. All of their outfits are the same. They're all these like colored uniforms. Looks like Don's making the first move inside to get a glass of water. Fair enough. Fair enough. He was literally on the chopping block. I would also be uh, a little stressed, a little parched after that. I also over here. Okay, queen. You know what? You go, girl. <laughs> I was just about to say I have outdoor showers and a public toilet back here. Um, Just because with this many Sims, I find that that's easier than trying to have like one bathroom. Lots of people getting water. Literally everyone just went in and grabbed a glass of water. And now they're just like kind of hanging out. That, I still don't, I still think getting the water is like one of the most annoying features in The Sims 4. Just because like, oh, oh, development, development. I obviously, you know, if they, if they decide to use this time to level up skills, I'm not going to stop them. So that was actually really smart, Don. Why is Judith bald? What? Okay? What? Right. You know what? Uh, Good for her. Bald queen. These two are back over here practicing ping pong. The next competition is obviously not ping pong. Oh, Bella Goth won though. Okay, slay Bella. Bella the ping pong queen. <laughs> Is that Eliza? Eliza just went into <laughs> Vlad's little shame corner and is talking to him. Oh, 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 get his ass. Get his ass, Eliza. That's so funny. Good for you, Eliza. Another rematch round. These two have faced off initially. Let's see if Agnes will win again. Agnes did win. Poor <laughs> Judith. I think Judith is like going to get increasingly like angry. Oh, oh, Eliza's angry. That's true. Because if they, I'm not going to like cheat their needs or, or emotions or anything. So if these Sims are angry. Oh, oh. Are they going to start fighting? Because they're both angry? I think they should. Oh, is Don going over here to bother Vlad? I didn't really mean to link this access, like, public access. I, I wanted just, like, Vlad to be alone in here. But I think it's even funnier that the contestants who are free can just come and, like, make fun of him and talk to him while he's just, like, trapped in this box. Uh, sure, Agnes, you can just, like, cooking. I don't care. Oh, I think Jeffrey's going over to bother him now. It's so funny, too, because Vlad's a loner. She's, like, really stressed with all these people just coming into his little hidey hole. They keep giving me these discovery things. I guess it's clear how little I actually play the, play the Sims 4. They're so annoying, though. Go away. I know how to play. Oh, we have our first people going to bed. Y'all are all smart, smart cookies. Why are you just taking a nap? It's 9 p.m. Dawn. What was that? <laughs> Jeffrey, there were like three other beds. What are you talking about? I made sure everyone had a bed. I will say these beds are both a blessing and a curse because they're so good quality. They're going to sleep for only like two hours. So they'll probably like wake up well rested at like, you know, 3 a.m. 
but they don't compete until noon every day, so they might be really tired. Yeah, everyone's up and moving around, and it's 3 a.m. Oh, y'all have a big storm coming, but that's okay. All right, it is right about noon, so that means it's time to turn everyone's autonomy off and prepare for the next challenge. All right, for our next challenge, our Olympians are going to be competing in swimming. How this event will work is that they will all obviously go into the pool. I will then block it off with a fence so they cannot get out, and whoever dies first loses, and everyone else is safe for this round. All right, everyone is in. Let's go ahead and put that fence up. All right. Let the games begin. I honestly have no idea how long this is going to take. Uh, I have a confession. I have never actually killed a sim using a swimming pool. At least to my knowledge. I actually really hate killing my sims. Uh, so this challenge is definitely out of my comfort zone a little bit. But I think it's going to be fun. I think actually for this challenge, I can go ahead and turn... Well, I don't know. I was going to say I was going to turn autonomy on because they can't really leave anyways. But I kind of want to see what they do. Yeah, let's, let's turn autonomy on, actually. Okay, now we can see what they do. We can see whether they choose to keep treading water like this, or if they decide to swim around, try to build up some athletic skill. Earbuds, okay. So far, so boring. They're all just sitting there treading water, but that's okay. I think it's gonna get a, get a little spicy in a few minutes once they realize they can't actually get out. Everyone's just hanging out, having conversations. I wanna go look and see what everyone's needs are and see, like, predict who I think is going to uh, last and who's not. Okay, a lot of people are already hungry, which uh, they're gonna be in a rough time, but I don't think they'll die of hunger first. Like, I, I think they'll be okay. And luckily, everyone Everyone's pretty, uh, energy is pretty good, so I don't think anyone's gonna die immediately. My guess is this one is going to have a disadvantage on my lovely elders, but, uh, you know, that's how, that is how it is. All right, it's been five hours and everyone's still going strong. Definitely starting to get some, uh, negative mood lids, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, that's, that's Vlad. Never mind. He's allowed to pass out as a little treat. I think everyone else is just hungry, but I don't think they'll die of hunger in the water. I don't really know how that would work, but I guess we'll see. Oh, Clement's having a really bad time. Interesting. Clement might just go insane and break. Same with Eliza. All right, they've been in here for eight hours. Still everyone going strong. Jeffrey's even playful. Jeffrey's having a grand old time. Oh, Agnes is now afraid of the water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, Agnes. Um, is that a sign that Agnes is going to be the next one? Oh, did someone pee in the pool? I've never seen that. In the pool? That's so funny. Okay, Judith is now afraid of the water. Honestly, I would be too. They've been officially treading water for 12 hours now. Eliza is now afraid of the water. And now it's raining. Oh, God. <laughs> Bella is now afraid of the water. Oh, no. Ah, Agnes. No. Rest in peace, Agnes. I'm so sorry, girl. I can't even enter buy mode. Oh, no. Hopefully no one else dies. That would not be good. That would go against my plans. But Agnes is out of the count. Oh, poor thing. She had every right. She was the first one to become afraid of the water. She knew. She knew it was coming. That is so sad. And everyone's just like awkwardly like, uh, <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> Can Grim not get in here because of the, the things? Because the fence? Oh, no. I did not think about this. Um, ha. Huh. Okay, I'm just going to teleport everyone to Vlad and hope that helps. Okay, hopefully that worked. Oh, I think, I think they just got Agnes. I think I just got got. Okay. Again, clearly my inexperience with killing Sims by the pool is showing. But that's okay. Agnes is dead. Uh, rest in peace, Agnes. Uh, sorry, everyone. Um, and autonomy's already on, so everyone has free reign to do whatever they want to, to recuperate for the next 12 hours. And it works, because everyone's going to have the sad bootlet. And that's okay. I should have had Grim be a competitor. That would have been hype. All right, bye, Grim. See you later. I'm sure he will be back very, very soon. How are you doing, Vlad? Yeah, Vlad. Vlad's going to starve to death pretty soon. I would say the next day or day or two. Everyone, Most people are sleeping. Bella is passed out. Okay, I think she was going to try to sleep. Oh my god, someone just left that grilled cheese on the stove. Guys, guys, please, please stop. Okay, everyone is sleeping. All right, everyone is waking up. Let's see what they choose to do. They only have a few hours left. It looks like everyone's sad because of uh, sad or scared because of the thunder, which is fair enough. All right, one hour left. Nothing crazy happened. I think everyone's a little shaken from Agnes. I think they're real like oh shit this is real we're all gonna die all right it is time for our next competition <laughs> and our competitors um are looking a little worse than where but that's okay okay they're not co cooperating and honestly this isn't a time challenge doesn't really matter basically this is going to be artistic gymnastics aka whoever paints the worst painting will be eliminated and obviously because there's no way to you know objectively judge worse worse is going to be done by whoever paints the cheapest painting is going to die for some reason they're registering this building as being outside and they're all like afraid of it but uh that's not my problem so like boohoo why are you uncomfortable okay jeffrey is literally too sad to uh or too hungry i mean to compete so i'm going to allow him to eat like literally one bite of something like he can have like one bite of this grilled cheese um and then i will deduct I don't know. I'll give him a penalty or something. Maybe deduct. I don't. I don't know how close it's gonna be. I'll deduct like ten bucks off of his final price uh, painting. But I feel like that's that's a that's more fair than just being like, well, he didn't prepare well enough, so he just dies. Like, okay, literally, that's it. That's all you get. Go paint, girl. No, don't. How are these guys allowed to stop painting? What? There we go. Everyone's painting now. Don's actually is beautiful, low key. He should only have level one painting, so I don't know how the fuck that happened. 
Yeah, he is, how, I don't know. Don's a fucking prodigy, apparently. Don, what are you doing? Stop. Or not Don, sorry. Daddy Winter, stop. Wait, okay, I just dragged Bella's painting to go look at it, and I couldn't find... Hello? Bella, ba where did your painting go? What the fuck? I touched it to drag it into her inventory, and it didn't... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, I was like, did I, did I just fuck up this challenge? No, I didn't. We're fine. Okay, there we go. All right, Bella, Bella made a $78 painting. Don made an $80 painting, okay? And Judith made a 78 as well. So Don is absolutely safe. Uh, Bella and Judith are on the chopping block. Let's see uh, what, what other prices we're getting at. Father Winter suddenly got uh, inspired, so he might have a boost there, maybe? 77. No, actually, he's in last. Uh-oh. And 85. Okay, Jeffrey's in first. So basically, everyone is safe except for Eliza. It all comes down to Eliza. Either Eliza or Father Winter will be... Uh... They all look so awful. Ew. All the shit all over them. Gross. Oh my god, Eliza made by far the worst painting. Eliza, I'm so sorry, but you are the ultimate loser of artistic gymnastics, and thus, uh, it's punishment time. This just turned into Danganronpa. I don't know what happened. All right, I've decided that Eliza is going to die of embarrassment. Her painting was so ugly and worth so little that she is just gonna literally explode. So everyone else is free to leave this room. However, Eliza must stay here with her ugly, poor painting and uh, wait to die, basically. Everyone else is free for the next 12 hours and Don is swimming. Okay, you know what? That is that is a strategy. I don't know why all these people are cooking. I literally bought them a mini fridge. They didn't have to cook, but I guess they're not very smart. The hell is that? What? What was that? It was like a flying thing. What the fuck? It's so weird. Oh, Vlad is dying from starvation. Rest in peace, King. Goodbye, Vladdy Daddy. I'm actually gonna move Eliza into here, I think. Um, oh wait, I trapped her in here, hold on. See, so, yeah, I wanna go ahead and kill Eliza so that, you know, Grim doesn't have to come back here twice, trying to make things convenient for him. All right, Eliza, it's your turn to go into the doom the doom place. All right, Eliza's in there. Now we can delete our uh, little gallery area and let everyone sleep and I'll start getting ready for the next challenge. For some reason, I didn't delete the light. I tried to like, just get rid of that room. That's so funny. Yeah, sure, we can just have like a floating area of lights. I don't mind. Damn, everyone's afraid of the dark. Y'all, it's not that deep, it's okay. Why are you outside in the dark, dingy, like dungeon basement room when basement? What? Dark, dingy room when you could be in this nice, beautiful thing. Wait, what? Clement had a bleak nightmare about achieving everything he ever wanted in life. Good thing that'll never happen. What? What does that even fucking mean? Okay. All right, Eliza is still kicking. Um, I don't know how to get her to die from embarrassment. So she'll either die, she'll die from something in there. And that's all that counts, you know? That's all that matters. All right, it is time for our next challenge. And this is the first and only one of our challenge that will require us going off of the lot as it is a fishing challenge. I will say someone in here, like must be an angler. I'm not even gonna check who, cause I don't really care. But they keep like trading around fish facts. So I, this is either gonna be like everyone's really good or like one person just dominates, but either way it's fine. As long as there's a clear loser, that's all that matters, right? Wait, 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 wait. I just noticed this. Apparently Bella and Daddy Winter have kind of a, a showmance going on. Hello? Anyone else have uh, have any fun relationships? Okay, it looks like uh, looks like Jeffrey and Eliza have a little bit of beef. Judith and Daddy Winter apparently cook together, so they have a sentiment towards that. No, it looks like it's just uh, Daddy Winter and Clement. That's so funny. You know what? Good for them. I wonder if they'll be like the final two and have like a Hunger Games-esque showdown. All right, this challenge is the biggest stretch to actually connect to an Olympic sport, but you know what? I tried. This is shooting because, you know, they're, they're casting their line and reeling in a fish. It's all about like accuracy and patience and just let me have it. Okay. Anyways, in this competition, whoever is the last to catch three fish will end up sleeping with the fishes. So let's, let's see what happens. Oh, 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 Jeffrey just got a cow plant berry. Interesting. But is that a fish? I don't know. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it doesn't count as a fish, but we'll see. Too crafty for Judith. Judith, get good. What do you mean? Other, everyone else is catching fish. Uh, go fish over there then. Father Winter is killing it. I think Father Winter has two of his three already. Yeah, Father Winter has two of his three. All right, Jeffrey has one now. Bella has one now. Dawn has one. Judith, oh, Judith just caught her first one. I was just about to say Judith's the only one who doesn't have one at all. Oh, uh, Daddy Winter is done. Daddy Winter is is free. He can do whatever he wants. You're, you're free, my guy. Daddy Winter is safe. All right, Jeffrey just caught his second fish. Looks like Dawn's about to reel one in. Maybe, maybe. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay, Bella's having trouble. I don't understand that because they literally, like she had been catching some. She had caught one, but go try over there, Bella. All right, Dawn's also having trouble. So I'll just switch him back over. He can come over here and try. That is so weird that Father Winter like immediately got all of his and everyone else is like struggling really bad that's okay so no one's caught one in a while uh oh oh just kidding uh bella bella just caught her second one yes i think that's jeffrey catching his third yes jeffrey just caught his third so he is done he's all good bella needs one more don needs two more and judith needs two more and judith really sucks i don't know what what's wrong with her but she is really not doing good 
I, she's very uncomfortable. She might actually do better after she pees herself, which is like kind of funny to think about. <laughs> oh my God, hey Mortimer. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're not iconic enough to be in this? <laughs> like we have another onlooker, Lian Sadia. Hope you're enjoying, hope you're enjoying the show. Oh, this is so funny. This, this girl is just over here fishing. <laughs> okay, still too crafty for Bella. Bella, I think you just need to get good. Go fishing. Judith, 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 babes. You're not done. Judith's just like wasting her own time. She's too uncomfortable to fish, but like this mood is about to expire. Maybe if I change her outfit, she'll be less uncomfortable. Hold on. I can do that. Okay, like she's too uncomfortable. I don't, I don't know what to do about that one. Should I let her pee? That just seems unfair. I, I think I'm gonna let her pee herself. And if that's like, I don't know. Cause she had been competing just fine. And I changed her outfit. Okay, yeah, 50 more minutes. I think I think it's okay. Bella and Don are like really struggling, so it's fine. Oh, close but no cigar, Bella. All right, Judith's about to pee herself, which is great. That means she can be back in the competition. Go fishing. Who maxed, who maxed these skills? Not my Sims, not my Sims. Okay, that was weird. Oh, Judas just caught her second fish. Oh, girl, you can't leave either. Nope, sorry, you, you're not allowed to leave. I can change your outfit. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to pee yourself, babes. I don't know what to tell you. All right, Dawn, keep trying over here. Like, that is so weird. Everyone is level zero or like level one fishing, you know? So like everyone... Everyone else was able to catch three fish. Come on, guys. Oh, Judith just caught her third fish. So Judith is free to go. It's between Dawn and Bella, but Bella's kind of taken herself out of the competition. Oh, just kidding. Go back in. Go back in, Bella. Dawn versus Bella. They both need one more. Oh, there we go. Rest in peace, Eliza. Poor thing. Poor babe. Rest in piss, literally. All right, anyways, back to these guys. Dawn. Uh oh, it's Dawn's time to be really uncomfortable. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I would like to say, um, um, don't, don't do that. Hold on. There we go. All right, go back to fishing. We just need one more fish to be caught. Come on, guys. All right, Bella's fishing level three now. See if level three can get her her third fish. Oh, no, Dawn won it. Oh, no. Rest in peace, Bella. You're officially out of the competition. Oh, no. Yee. Sorry, babes. All right, I have decided that Bella's punishment for losing and basically how she's going to die is that I'm going to not let her go inside any of the buildings. Uh, so she's probably going to die to the elements. Uh, if not, I, I don't know. All right, Bella cannot go in anywhere. And I'm also going to be moving the bathroom and stuff inside just so she is, she just has nothing. She just has nothing. I'm hoping she gets struck by lightning just because I think that'd be a fun death. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, we are down officially to our final four. We have Judith Ward and Seldo. Dawn, did you just keep fishing? Dawn, you can you can stop now. You can do whatever you want. You can come home. <laughs> but anyways, we are down to our final contestants. We have uh, Judith Ward representing Delso Valley. We have Clement Frost representing the North Pole. We have Jeffrey Landgrab representing uh, Sunset Valley and Don Lothario representing Oasis Springs. That actually took so much longer than I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a mad dash thing. I originally wanted them to catch five fish and I'm glad I thought mm, maybe three is enough and it definitely was. Oh my God, poor Bella. I really love Bella Goth. I did not want to see her go. But uh, this actually, I solved the mystery of why Bella went missing. Actually, she uh, she lost the Olympics. That's actually the true, the Sims team can vouch for me actually. I mean, besides being like kind of sad, most people are in pretty good shape. Hopefully Jeffrey will decide to eat uh, before competition or he's gonna be in bad shape. Um, obviously not including Bella, poor Bella. I'm sorry, girl. I really wanted her to be struck by lightning, but I don't know how to cheat that, so. Oh wait, I could just do it like this. Oh my God, wait, can I kill her by a meteorite? Wait, that'd be fun. Yeah, hopefully Dawn doesn't get caught in the crossfire. That'd be really bad. Rest in peace, Bella. Rest in peace, our fallen children. Oh my God, that is so dramatic. <laughs> Dawn, you're about to get framed again for the murder of Bella Goth. I hate to tell you this, bestie. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Dawn, oh. Dawn is just always in the wrong place at the right time um, to witness Bella. But uh, rest in peace, you icon. All right, yeah, 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 boo hoo hoo. Anyways, two hours till competition times, yay. Are you about to flirt with the Grim Reaper? Are you about to flirt with the Grim Reaper? Dawn, are you about to have a showman? Okay, no, that would've been too, that would've been so fucking funny. All right, our next challenge is archery, AKA chess, uh, which, you know, are they the most similar things in the world? No, but shut up. <laughs> Anyways, basically this is another tournament style challenge where we're gonna have two games going on at the same time. The winners are safe and the losers will fight against each other to the death. All right, again, I just picked them based off where they, you know, are next to each other. So we got Judith and Father Winter and Jeffrey Langrab and Don Lothario. This is fun because I think like realistically, the only person here who may, may know how to play chess is maybe Jeffrey Langrab. 
I can't say any of these other bitches like realistically knowing how to play chess. Don Lothario has a good reputation? What? How'd that happen? Okay, you know what? Good for you, Don, I guess. See, the funny thing is I don't actually know how to play chess, so I don't even know who's who's doing good or not. Although if I had to guess, it looks like Don is doing better than Jeffrey, which I think is funny. Yeah, they're they're like way farther along in their game. I also think it's really funny that everyone else is so sad about Bella dying and Don just flirty. Like what a freak. I mean it lines up, but Jesus. Alright, now Don's sad. <laughs> he heard me saying that. He's like, wait, 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 no. Oh, I think that. Don just won this first match. I didn't get a notification though, which sucks. Do we have a, do we have like a won the chess game? Chess champion. And that means Don, or that means uh, Watch My Jig lost. Okay. Yeah. It looks like Don is our, our first chess champion, I guess. No, I actually don't want y'all to keep playing and then I'll give uh, Jeffrey an advantage for whoever he goes up against. So that's perfect. Uh, y'all, you go here. Damn, I never in a million years would have guessed that Don Lothario would be Jeffrey Landgrab in a game of chess. But hey, hey, that's what the Sim Olympics is for. I'm all about the underdog. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think Judith just rage quit. I didn't even know that was a thing. What does that mean? Um, chess victor. Oh no, Father Winter won and Judith got mad and like wrecked the table. I've never seen that. That's actually so fun. Okay, so we're going to have a final battle between Judith and Jeffrey, our two like bitchy elites. Let's see who wins. Judith, you can't start without him. He's not at the table yet. Judith. Oh, Jeffrey's getting a phone call. Heard of the passing of someone special to you. Listen, Vlad, I think you're the person who's special to him. All right, this game is looking pretty close. Ooh, ooh, it looks like Jeffrey's bringing it back though. I think Jeffrey's bringing it back. Oh no! I think that means that Jeffrey is our official winner. Yes, it is. All right, I'm so sorry, Judith. Uh, goodbye, girl. Poor Judith, man. She was stripped of being a celebrity. Her wig got snatched for some reason. And now she's gonna die a probably horrifically painful death. Let's let's figure out which one though. I think she's gonna die by anger. She lost two games of chess. She knocked down the chessboard both times. She is so, so angry. Yep, yep. Rest in peace. An icon, not as iconic as Bella, but you know, pretty like, what the fuck is that? Hello? Praxium. Sorry, Judith, I know you're dying, but I've never seen it before. <laughs> Anyways, rest in peace. Uh, rest in peace, Judith. But yeah, these are our medalists. I will we'll figure out what order they're gonna be in. These are three medalists. Um, I, you know, for some reason I expected Don to get this far because he's kind of like a weaselly little man. Like I feel like he would just kind of win anything. Um, but these guys I weren't expecting for different reasons, but uh, you know, our final three. Anyways, let me turn autonomy back on so they can uh, <laughs> they can do something else if they want to not just cry. Lilith Pleasant, what the fuck are you doing here? Girl, you better run. You're iconic enough to compete in these games. Girl, you better run. Girl, I don't think you want to be here right now. <laughs> Bro, Don is like thriving here. He's energized. He's working out. I mean, besides like the constant fear of death, like he's doing, yeah. I mean, besides that, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> uh oh, drama. Oh my God, everyone hates each other. That's so funny. Bro, the other two are both still sad about the death and Father Winter's over it. He's so happy. Whoa, whoa, Father Winter, what the fuck was that? All right, now that we only have three left, go ahead and like predict who you think is gonna be the winner. I I have a feeling that Don is going to win, but I hope that Jeffrey Landgrab wins. And again, that's not something I thought I was going to be saying. But again, he's representing The Sims 3. Like, he's representing Sunset Valley, which is, like, my favorite town ever. Um, so do I like Jeffrey Landgrab? No. But would I like him to win? Yeah. I think Father Winter has affectionately no chance, but I love him, and I'm proud of him for making it this far. Oh, shit. It's past my... I'm, 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 oh, my God. I'm so bad at this. Oh, my God. All right. I'm a little silly. I, we're starting this challenge a little late in the day, but that's okay. This is going to be climbing, which will obviously be done on the rock climbing wall. And whoever gets the slowest time will obviously be eliminated. But whoever gets the fastest time will get a slight advantage for the last tur like the last tournament, last trial. So this is a this is an important challenge for every competitor. All right, Daddy Winter, let's we're all gonna do climb gentle uh, incline, and we'll see how long Father Winter can last. They should all do like relatively okay because they've all been building their athletic uh, skills throughout this process. Oh, rock climbing's a skill? Who the fuck knew? I didn't know that. Anyways. Okay, Father Winter's kind of slaying. Can't even lie. Is this not one of the challenge ones? I hope they give me a score. If not, I'll let everyone do the gentle incline. Because only I only want the most fair and balanced. Uh, okay, then, then give me a time. Well, damn it. Okay. Can you now do one of the challenge modes? Okay, hold on. Let me give everyone... All right, I'm going to give everyone everyone a rock climbing skill of three. And hopefully that's enough to uh, do an endurance challenge. Oh my God, it's still too, still not enough. That's crazy. Okay, um, I guess I'll make everyone skill four and hope that's enough. Okay, this was just a shit show. Um, every, I, get, I basically just gave everyone right at level seven rock climbing. And then they're going to all get to do it. Um, we're going to, because they can't do it yet. No. Okay. I want you to climb the vertical incline. I want everyone to climb the vertical incline. And then I will get rid of any moodlets. 
and then hopefully they will have all unlocked it at that point. Okay, Father Winter has unlocked it after doing his vertical climb, so he is good to do the vertical challenge. And then hopefully when you guys like fall off, I will just get rid of the fatigue moodlet and we'll be good to go from there. Okay, I'm tired of finagling around with this walk rock climbing wall. I can't get it to do what I want it to do. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make everyone happy so that we'll make sure all their hunger and stuff is up because it's my fault that they haven't been able to do that. And then I'm going to remove any fatigued moodlets basically. And then we're gonna switch and instead do soccer and whoever can juggle for the longest, that will be the winner. Whoever does it the least will die and the middle person will get to the finals by barely. How can you get fame if you practice juggling? That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. All right, go for it. I definitely think Don has an advantage on this one because it's athletic based and athletic, uh, because he's an athletic sim, he's been like practicing that. But you know, that doesn't mean anything. So far they're all doing really good actually. Much better than I would be. Uh oh, looks like uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey did 16. Looks like Jeffrey's gonna lose, which sucks. Everyone else is doing way better than him. Oh no. Hello, Father Winter just like stopped juggling. Hello? Um, do it again, I guess. The Sims 4 is so glitchy. Okay, Clement did it 80 times and Don did it 80 times. Oh shit, they tied. Oh shit, they tied. Okay, um, Jeffrey is definitely losing. Uh, but I wonder if they can play soccer against each other. That'd be a fun way to determine the winner. I don't know if it'll, I don't know if that'll do that though. Yeah, let's, let's just, let's, uh, let's practice struggling again and see what happens. If they tie again, we'll, we'll try something else. Damn, look at Father Winter go. He, I mean, the fact that he's kept, oh, oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I hear, <laughs> hello. Okay, because if we're comparing it against all three of them, then Father Winter just got the lowest time. But because Jeffrey was already out, I think that the order is Father Winter, Jeffrey, Don Lothario. But you know what I was thinking? Since this is the Olympics and you have three winners, I think this makes sense to keep all three of them alive, bring them to the final challenge. Um, but the order is very important in this challenge and will probably make a difference. So I, I think these three men are going to be our, our final winners. And the order that they will compete tomorrow is Jeffrey, Father Winter, Don Lothario. And with that, I'll turn back to autonomy and they can have the rest of the day to recover and uh, get ready for the final challenge. So Jeffrey was saved by like the very skin of his teeth, but I mean, he could still come out and win it. I think this this second round of challenge was, uh, I think I was the loser technically. So I think it, it all makes sense. I feel like these three men in a house together could be like a sitcom. Like they're so different in like every way, each of them. And I think that's very fun, but they like, they all seem to be friends. Like, which like, it's kind of like a fun dynamic. I don't know. I forgot that because I cheated there, their, I made them happy. None of them are gonna be tired, um, but that's actually fine. I think that, I think that's good. I think if they're all in a bad mood tomorrow, it'll actually make the, the playing field more even. I still think, especially because he's gonna have a, a pretty uh, decent what? advantage, I think Don's gonna win, um, but I don't know. And I again, I'm still hoping for, for Jeffrey, Dark Horse. Like I hate uh -huh. this man, but you know, my patriotism for, for Sunset Valley cannot be underestimated. Are y'all playing beer pong at eight in the morning? What? You know, I respect it. I think if it was me and my like two best bros and we had just basically survived Squid Games, uh, up until this point but we knew two of us were gonna die today i think beer prong is kind of the kind of the move is that i'm gonna move what are y'all waiting for <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> too many players wanted to quit what does that even mean this game is so weird you know some may say that they're like this because it's a glitch and i think that they this is like a, a male bonding ritual I, I think they're having a grand old time all right for our final challenge in the sims olympics we are going to be doing diving AKA they are going to be diving into shark infested waters and whoever survives the longest will win. Now that the pond is stocked with sharks, we can begin. They are going to be jumping in the order that they you know, lost the competition yesterday. So it's going to be going Jeffrey, Father Winter, Don Lothario, and they will repeat and repeat and repeat until we are only left with one man standing. So Jeffrey, take us away. I have a really bad feeling that Jeffrey's gonna die like immediately. Um, he just doesn't seem like he would survive this, but you know, I mean, okay. Okay. He survived round one. Father Winter, it is your turn. Jeffrey, get out of the way. All right. Will Father Winter survive? It's looking. Yes. Good job. Good job. All right. Don, your turn. Jump in. Now Don is scared right now because he does not like the water. So I don't know if that will increase his chances of dying or not, but, uh, I can't even lie to y'all. I would not be mad to see a, a Don loss. Nope. Okay. Well, round two. All right. Jeffrey survived round two. All right, Father Winter survived round two. Come on, sharks. I wanna see some blood. So far, so good. Round three. Oh, Jeffrey Langrove is dying to death. No, rest in peace, Jeffrey. You know what? It was meant to be. He he lost the last competition, basically. So fair enough. Rest in peace, Jeffrey Langrob. With that, Jeffrey Langrob and Sunset Valley have earned the bronze medal, but no more. That's it. Ugh. Can you jump in while he's dying in there? That's kind of hilarious. Jump in. Jump in, Father Winter. Jump in. See how see how you do. Are you too sad to jump in? That's fair enough. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you can't move. Okay, fair enough. There is a corpse in there. That's understandable. He looks so awkward in there. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Damn, Grim, you're taking your sweet ass time. Let's go. We got a competition to do. Oh, there we go. Rest in peace. All right. Now jump in. Grim, you might want to hang around. You might want to hang out for a minute, Grim. I think we're going to have someone else joining you. I think it's going to be Father Winter. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Good job, Father Winter. Okay, okay, okay. There is a chance. Father Winter could still win this. Father Winter could win this for the North Pole. Let's see. Don? Don? All right, Don survived. Father Winter, can you survive again? I know you have to pee really bad. I'm sorry. I know that sucks, but unfortunately you must jump in. Maybe if you pee, the sharks won't eat you. I don't know how that works, but that would make sense to me, logically. Or if I see a notification pop up, I get scared. Okay, Father Winter's still alive. Holy shit. All right, Don. Uh-oh, that was kind of scary music. I don't know if that meant anything or not, though. Don. Don's alive. Okay. All right, Father Winter. Father Winter. He has to pee. Okay. You might have been saved by him having to pee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pee yourself, whatever. All right. Jump in again, Don. Still nothing. Oh my god. I'm like shocked this is taking this long. I thought I thought they would all be dead like really fast. That's why I thought the order was gonna matter. I thought they were all gonna basically die first off, like, or you know, within like a time or two. Come on, Father Winter. Come on. You got this. You got this. Uh-oh. Oh, nope. You did it. Okay. All right, Don, your turn. I don't even know how many rounds it's been at this point. They're doing good. All right. Come on, Don. Oh, nope. Okay. Father Winter. Go again. Oh my god, I'm shocked Father Winter has lasted this long. I don't know if this is based on anything, but if it's based on like like athletics or age or anything like that, then Father Winter's at a huge disadvantage. But if it's just luck, I mean, it's really anyone's game. All right. I will admit I am actively cheering for Father Winter, but now I'm worried that I said that out loud, that he's going to die. So it is what it is. Come on, Father Winter, survive, survive, survive. Yay, good job. Sometimes they stay down there so long, I get stressed for them. All right, come on, Don. Okay. I definitely thought this thing was a lot more deadly. Maybe Jeffrey was just like, he knew he was out. He knew he should have died in the last round. He was like, all right, bye guys. Like, oh my God, I am shocked, shocked. Like, are the sharks full? After Jeffrey, they're like, nah, we're full. I don't know. I really, I really don't know how this works. So we're just gonna keep going. Someone will die eventually. Oh, John like, Don like glitched out of that. That was weird. Yeah, Don keeps glitching out of it. I don't think that's fair. Don is like cheating or something. Although Don definitely has the worst uh, stats. He's actually close to passing out. Um, whereas Daddy Winter definitely took a lot better care of himself. I don't know if that matters or not though. All right, jump in again. Jump in, please. All right. I was gonna like stop and give them a break in case the pond has a cooldown, but honestly, like I want them to keep going so that they can't refill their needs. Cause I think that's the only way to make it fair. All right, good job. Back to Don. Oh my God, Don, oh, it happened. Don is drowning. Oh my God, I really, I'm so happy. I'm not gonna lie, no offense, Don. Um, goodbye. That means that we have our silver medalist, Don Lotharia from Oasis Springs and our gold medalist, Father Winter from the North Pole. He doesn't look too good right now, but that is, you know, that's okay. <laughs> you know what? Maybe him and the Green Reaper can like date or something. Oh wait, you want to plead for Dawn? Plead for Dawn, plead for Dawn. See if it works. Plead, 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 plead. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, I don't think that worked. That doesn't, oh no. Okay, rest in peace, Dawn. Rest in peace, Dawn. Poor Father Winter. Well, um, maybe these are tears of joys at becoming the first ever Simlympian. Yay! I mean, look on the bright side, Daddy Winter. You have a huge property, you know, the start. You know, you at least have some kind of living situation. And you have almost half a million dollars. So, like, you're gonna be fine. Um, and now you have a gold medal. Good job! Yay! This is so sad. Okay, anyways, um... Good, good job, Daddy Winter. Proud of you. And with that, the summer 2024 Sim Olympics have concluded with Father Winter as our victor. I have never done a video like this, and it was honestly really fun to make. Uh, so if you want to see more like challenges like this, like Hunger Games-esque, Big Brother-esque things in The Sims, please let me know. Please leave suggestions down below for townies I should include. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and made it this far, please consider subscribing. I would really love to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and with your help, we can make it happen. Also, I've left some resources down below about the genocide happening in Gaza. I've left some both uh, educational and donation resources, so please just go check those out if you are willing and able to. Thank you again for watching. Please don't forget to take care of yourself. Go drink some water. Go watch the actual Olympics. I'm sure they are much better uh, athleticism than what you saw here today. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.